Call to order, March 18th, 2019, Municipal Buildings Committee. Uh, first order of business, we have a note taker tonight. <laughs> Thank you, David. Okay. David taking notes. Uh, we have one set of minutes for review. These were done by, remind me, yeah, Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. I was not in attendance, so I can't attest to their <laughs> reasonableness or authenticity <laughs> in any way. But um, I'll let you guys review them, and if there's a motion to uh, approve afterwards. Everybody good? Any motions for approval? I make a motion to accept the minutes. Discussion? I, I will second. Second. Discussion? No. Everybody's good. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm abstaining actually, so I wasn't there. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, so we've got a fresh agenda from Tim. Thank you, Tim, for putting that together. Um, we'll start with New items for discussion, uh, first of which is the town meeting and warrant articles. So could we kind of summarize what we have on the uh, current warrant and how that's proceeding? Yeah, uh, presently I, we put together three article uh, sections. Uh, the first one was $65,000 for uh, buildings improvements and things that would include things like the basement windows, the <coughs> countertops, um, restoring the DPW gable ends, uh, the further improvements to the Sally Port. The second portion of that was $125,000 for. This is the second article? Or B of the same article. Okay. Or part two, um, hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for municipal building maintenance items. Uh, and what? Uh, let me give you a copy of that. Uh, and the, and that was um, again some of the HVAC work uh, at the public safety building, overhead doors, possibly at the tobacco barn. Uh, we had ten thousand dollars for replacement of broken. Uh, roof slates at Russell School. Uh, part three was to add fifty thousand dollars to the on-call professional consultant. Uh, we it was actually in quite a number of years ago that uh, we went to town meeting floor and got fifty thousand dollars for an on-call professional, and we've we're down to uh, slightly less than six thousand dollars of that money. Uh, the which most likely will be spent on some of the things that he's working on right now. One of the items uh, that has been discussed at the select board meeting is is having somebody help the town in reviewing what's happening on all three projects and being available to um, help make decisions uh, that might crop up immediately on site uh, and just having somebody overall to review it and we we brought forward the, the 
the municipal building committee brought forward on possibly the use of the on-call professional for that. Right. So the this at the capital meeting we discussed that the select board has yet to vote on how they're going to want to uh, deal with that issue on um, overview of the three projects. And Christian said that they will be discussing that. It is a, a critical item since it's as part of the article. So it could be that they might um, uh, be in favor of funding the entire thing or possibly because of um, the way the funds are right now might just be for one year for now and bring it back another year so those are the three items any any um speculation on how much we've been spending like per year or some kind of way to gauge well, you know how much is worth, how much is what about year. four years now so mm -hmm. yeah roughly about 10 a year i mean yeah. give or take yeah <laughs> but, with, but with the activity going on with the buildings here we want to make sure we're covered yeah. enough that we have Probably more than well, we've that, had in previous out years. Of that remainder, he's still going to finish up the specs for the columns, which we have money approved. So that's yeah. that's going to be minus out of that. So I'm I'm just getting getting that you know if if you wanted to look at the fifty thousand that that could potentially last two years, but probably not the four that it took us from the last well, round. Yeah, I guess it would depend on you know yeah how much they needed for that. Or, they would want to have a contract specifically okay. for that or just it probably also depends on how much we recommend that we you know right. give him as a you know an order you know for consultation right. i mean i other than some of the new building stuff we we have a few small projects i think that we'd be involving him with but not as many as we did we were looking at you know the structural stuff on all the other old buildings and stuff yeah, I just like to have something for select board to say, you know, fifty thousand is the right amount, and this is why, or you know, just we we can say because because that's what we asked for last time. Well, does that really, mm -hmm. you know, if they say, well, we'll give you ten, we we it would be nice to be able to show them we need more. Well, right. I mean, you know, I would, I would or, say fifty is a good spot to start. Yeah, especially you know if you're gonna if they're gonna use them a lot on these next these new three buildings, then it could get it could go quick. Depending on how much they ask. So, what is he? Working. What is he teed up for right now? Besides the columns, the specs for the columns. Uh, he's been helping with the uh, HVAC stuff. I don't know if he's still a little bit on that. Yeah. We need to address. We that need to get him. that going real quick and finish yeah. that up. Do we have dollar values of his contract for those amounts so we could sort of start thinking I about? I don't think so. Well, we, um, he gave us a rough estimate, but that one was tough because he, uh, Gary and I met with Larry and the, who was the other gentleman there from the um, contractor? The oh, from BG. Uh, BG. To go review what <clears throat> they felt was yeah. needed and he was going to work with BG. So we were trying to do it in such a way that they, those two would work together we have an hourly rate that he charges us which is pretty low and he would say he would keep it as low as possible and uh, it, it hasn't been running high at all no I mean it, really he's we kind of work it out with BG and he comes over and you know, makes a couple of comments and then yeah. goes back over the plans. So it's, it's not like he has to do a, a lot of major design. It designing. hasn't been that many hours that he's <laughs> actually worked on it. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's nice the, to have the him there. The columns I think he spent some time on. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to have it there. I just, I'd rather justify the 50000 based on tasks and, and rough mm -hmm. order of magnitude well, estimates for Especially if you've got three task. new buildings coming up and you want this guy to be your consultant and all of a sudden well, you get right. down to the end and... <laughs> You need a right. decision made, and now you've used uh, it. You know, if we said, if you know, there could be there could be sixteen hours a week for you know sixty weeks or something. At least we would have a dollar value for that, and then we could add in the specs for the columns being a certain amount, the HVAC work a certain amount, and then whatever other tasks you all think we we should be right. yeah. forecasting out. Then at least we could get to a number that's reasonable mm -hmm. and say we we're, we think fifty is right. Here's the backup and. Don't cut it less than that because we'd really like to get these projects accomplished. I don't. I don't remember the exact 
process we went through to, to come up with the 50,000 in the first place. Uh, we just do a figure. Yeah, yeah was, I think it was pretty arbitrary at the right, time. It turned out to be okay, but yeah, yeah, we discussed it for a while. Right. And we, you know, we must have had some stuff in mind because it worked pretty well. We didn't, did, of course. The, we had a list first, of, the of first, projects right. that we felt that we needed his expertise on. Right. And we but listed that. The, the first uh, consultant we had didn't work out. No. And that was kind of a delay. Yep. Right. But right. once we got the ball rolling, it, you know, it was a nice easy pace, and it wasn't, uh, it was not a hand. You know, I think we, we pretty much nailed it. It lasted us a good while, and judging how, you know, the, the length of time it takes to get money, um, you know, from town, having to go to town meeting and whatnot, I think it was appropriate to, you know, well, it wasn't too much and it wasn't not enough, that's for sure. I mean, we could probably do the exercise real quick. When is the, um, when is the senior center going to be constructed by? Or well, actually, better yet, when's the when, actually 12, they're figuring when's the 12. library going to be done by? What's do we do we know what that date is? Not offhand at this point. I think it's going out to bid end of May essentially, so starting in June. But then that means that you know, dem demolition doesn't matter the building with the senior center. Senior center could be any time, I imagine. The senior center is supposed to be but shovels in the ground in another mm -hmm. two or three weeks. Yeah. Right, but the longer uh, project than would senior be senior center is planning on twelve months. Give yeah, the longer project yeah. would be the library starting in June to some date. So what I'm trying to get to is like, no if we started, years. if yeah, we started April, 2021, yeah. somewhere be 2021. August. Yeah, is the library? What's it? Do they have a schedule on what they think from, their, from their start? I don't, so at this point, I don't know what that is. Okay. I don't want to throw uh, the, it up. I know the fi North fi it, it North Hadley Fire years. Station. They're figuring yeah. a, about a year, give or take, a couple say, months. Yeah. So it was twenty. We we'll probably add another, so say 30, 30, 30 months from, from now till the end of this yeah. construction is about right. Yeah. Divided by four point three weeks a month, nine seven. Um, is that right? I'm trying to get to a number here. Thir Thirty weeks divided by uh, four point three. No, sorry. Thirty months. 30 months times 4.3 that's 129 weeks times 10 hours a week you're looking at say 1300 hours and then by his rate whatever you that is is a is a value that we you know that's the first one yeah <clears throat> well, what it was I, I, mean, I have to look it up okay so is he, Even if that was, on these was projects, supposed to be just um, 12, when the two, so the senior center and the library, because That's a lot so of money. most have issues, he's supposed to negotiate it out? Or? I think what, I think what the selectman yeah. wanted was, so go that if, high, is it? No. if somebody, like say something comes up where the architect drawing up one of the sets of plans and the builder comes and goes, this won't work. We've got to do this, or what do you want to do? They can say instead of having them sit there and you know worry about it, they can go to him and say, "What do you think the best thing to do is?" As, you know, as a consultant. Well, we have Am I right? Too, so really yeah. Well, right. And, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's it's hard to speculate when you don't have like a scope for him to. Yeah. You know, at first I'm thinking maybe it's 16 hours a week, but maybe that sounds heavy. It's going to be that's way high because there there could be weeks where we don't need. Yeah. I think I think it was to answer questions if something, if if like the exactly. all of them so went to the town and said, "Hey, look, we got to do something. This isn't working. We got to make a quick change here." They could have somebody to yeah as a, like a third party or fourth party or. At this point, for maybe maybe Two. something will come up that's not directly related to the projects, and it's not on the OPM scope. It's not on the architect scope. It has to be dealt with somehow. We can't do an adult or anything. We got to have somebody's got a deal. Yeah. yeah okay. So on a regular basis, no, right? I don't either. I mean, this comes up out of the blue. There's been a lot of you know hashing and rehashing on. And I'm sure there has been for the library, you know, the senior centers, they've, you know, the consultants and everybody have gone back and forth. And yeah. I think we got okay. a bump in the road. One of the, one of the reasons that, that was brought up with the select board was if things do go south, who do we have that can really help out in case that there is one, a crisis or things are south and there is no, nobody's talking to one another? 
that was the whole idea. It might not be that we even use them. If everything goes well, I don't think they, they cooperate and everybody seems to be playing well in the sandbox, it'd be fine. But what if it doesn't? And I don't think it's like between the senior center versus library. I think it could it's, very well it's be. an issue in between, like like you said, somebody, you know, oh crap, somebody completely forgot about well, this spec. I, I was saying, the, not that the two groups are fighting, I'm just saying because it's so close, and the example that was brought up, one project is bringing in a crane and the other guy's bringing in cement trucks in the way of each other and nobody communicated. Um, and then somebody has to make a decision who goes first type thing. Um, cement trucks come because the cement <laughs> trucks are going yeah. to Yeah, that's <laughs> maybe not the best right, story. Right. <laughs> there, there's plenty of other analogies. There's so. only an hour and a half in those, yeah. those yeah. trucks and that's it. Yeah. You've got 90 minutes to dump that. Well, so well. just to round it off though, let's say maybe eight hours a month a couple hours a week to, to yeah. sort of balance out some yeah. conversation, whatever. It's times times about 30 months, meaning like we're going to start probably in April and we're going to go for two years plus, whatever. So 30, just say 30. Uh, that's, two four, that's 240 hours times roughly $120 an mm -hmm. hour loaded is $28,800. Probably maybe is a little less, say 25000 total for that task alone. Yeah, and that would be what if. I'd say. And that's a big if. I would think that would, yeah. Yeah. That would that'd be a But big I think that, that covers that's us. There's going to be weeks where right. there's nothing and other weeks where there's maybe eight hours or ten hours so, or something. So half, half of that 50000 you're guesstimating would be for the new three new projects? Potentially. That's Potentially. a back of the napkin the amount yeah. for, for those, those tasks. And then we have the specs for the columns. Is that covered under the six thousand, or is that I think additional funding we need for that one, Tim? Do you know? I think that should be covered. But, I mean, he's been working on that, so some of that, you know, mm -hmm. is obviously spoken for already, and he's done a little bit with the fire station. But right. I think this, the remaining six thousand, I think it should cover those two projects. <clears throat> I think he's going to come into play when we start to relook at the existing good right. and stuff like that. Yep. Right. There's going to be different projects after that. Yeah. We, right. We I, I want to. I want to yeah, tabulate that so when we can say to select board, twenty five thousand. Right. Yes, but we are also going to need him. We think for some other for projects. DPW or for the Goodwin or another or, or Russell School Parking. Yeah. yeah. And those are the yeah. That's that the other one up. too. Yeah. Yeah, Russell we, School we do Parking have a few is more projects cost. that we need to have looked at and yes. stuff. And you know, granted, we're going to be getting rid of some dumps, but. There's so did always he something to do. Bill us for the Russell School review. Yes, I'm that's all set. We're all caught up. With this We're all caught okay. up with that. Yeah. That did he help at all with the uh, town hall renovations you've been working he's on? Not, he's not done anything with yeah, that. Yeah. So he, <coughs> is that something, something we need him for? I don't think so. Yeah, We're pretty point. much done. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's, okay. It's, it's I, a big if. The one thing was that we had talked about where we could use the services was lay out the rooms and go through. Um, you know the different departments of what their their needs was, and I I did the Tim volunteered uh, quite a bit, and actually everybody else worked along fairly well, so it actually went pretty easy. Okay, it, was, it worked out nicely. The Goodwin, the Russell School parking, and we we may need something with the DPW trail. at some yeah, point. Yeah, DPW is critical. That's going to happen. I'm, I'm sure we're going to need to deal with that. DPW on a short term basis. Okay, so you know, and there's always like you know, a few other small projects here and there that you sometimes just question them on. I mean, even if I said you know twenty, let's say two thousand for the Goodwin, you know, you use a pad there if you wish. Eh, it's okay. I like <laughs> like, like overlapping all my notes. So I, yeah, the the Russell School parking, like we I've been trying to reach Berkshire Design, which has been very difficult, difficult. for some reason. But I'm guessing time, that's probably here. about a fifteen thousand dollar design fee. To, to have the drainage design and the you know the parking lot layout and lighting and everything else and all the planning board approvals necessary to get that through you know we know how that can be right, so I might have to raise that to twenty thousand. <laughs> well, okay, let's let's put it as twenty for now. I don't disagree with that. And then the trailers. I mean, at least there's going to be a, a planning study or something to, to see where they would go. No, I think you're pretty much limited yeah, to where they're going to go. I mean, they're, we need to look at those. They're they're going fast. They're in bad shape. Yeah, I, I'm we, very worried about 
the condition those are in. And what would you ask the project consultant to help us with? Right, you know, write up building? specs to, or, to go out and get a, a replacement. Replacement trailers. Yeah, mm -hmm. quote, yeah, yeah, okay. So, okay. going down there, cause I, I, I really think one needs to be replaced. It's in bad, bad shape. I think we possibly could do some renovations on the other one and, and get it through ten, a 10 year plan. <clears throat> so that's my thought process is, you know, I think we got a 10 year All three gap. of them are starting to yeah. leak a little bit. They're not, you know, yeah. they're, their systems are failing in. But I think this Okay, so let's, let's look at this then. So uh, specs for columns and HVAC work are probably covered under the existing six thousand yes. dollars. Um, rough order magnitude cost for the project consultant to, uh, to um, work on the project built the town buildings is say twenty five thousand. Um, the Goodwin repurposing planning studies and things like that say two and a half thousand. Russell School parking twenty thousand, and then uh, you know some specifications for the trailer say tw twenty five hundred again. That's fifty thousand dollars, and that sounds like it. I mean, we're maybe we're force fitting it, but I think it's about right. Mm -hmm. That that will it, you know for instance these tasks tasks will you know fill that, but you know there's going to be other stuff that's going to sure pop yeah right so i mean that that's a okay. good number we can justify it in many different yeah. ways yeah i would rather have something that's oh, like yeah, itemized right. that, yep. that really well, yeah brings us pretty close to what the ask is yeah. and that way we're mm -hmm. it's really? legit in my mind that way so i mean the 50 worked out good the first time we got us a few yeah. years and i think it yeah. would do the same thing. and there will be things that pop up oh, and yeah. maybe some of this will go off the day you know i don't know but um, it's a way. It's a route to to look towards what we what we're asking for. So, okay, good. So we have that, and that makes sense. And then the other ones, Tim, the sixty five thousand for A, B, C, D, and H, and then one twenty five. These are numbers that we had from the old tables that we had for. Yeah, they're, um, they're kind of laid out as building improvements, building maintenance, and the on call consultant. Right, those are the three. The three article article or whatever. Right, so you have town hall basement window replacement. I mean, these were all the numbers that you got bids on, or we, we well, estimated the numbers? Some of them. Some of them. Some of them. So, what has happened in the meantime as of the 530 meeting with Capital? Um, Linda now, um, Linda Sanderson has a new kind of a role mm -hmm. in town, which is really working out fantastic. She is taking over getting together the budgets and she's done a remarkable job in getting them in a better format for us so she presented this in and there's quite a number there and you can look at this and easily find money that we actually have that we didn't know we actually had and for instance we have in that list Sally Port repairs on one of them Right. That was on this one. Oh, I'm sorry. This, thing, this, this proposed maintenance list. Uh, the HVA. I'm sorry. The HVAC, which is two B, fund remainder of the HVAC. There was two articles for the. Yeah, and we have twenty-seven thousand dollars still available for us on that. Okay. Okay. Uh. The, I think the counters are. There was we never really had any money for counters. We never had that. Uh, so that was a consultant. The HVAC dampers, the selling that was on this list. Yeah, fund remainder. Uh, this is one D. It says fund remainder of public safety oh, salary. There, yeah. Port upgrades. Yep. We actually have nineteen thousand five hundred dollars sitting in that line item, and someplace in here, the DPW gable ends is is um, funded. Yeah, that's one C. So those those three items um, we have monies for. Well, the gable ends was you know, that was a split thing that supposedly yeah. they couldn't use part of it, but so. 
what the capital has asked us to do is uh, relook at this. Okay. Uh, come up with uh, with because those things can be taken off. What we would like proposed as those. In lieu of the sixty-five and yeah. one twenty-five, what are the real numbers? Yeah. Well, do we have what we need to do that tonight? Just go through it real quick. I don't know. Did we ever get solid quotes for those gable ends and stuff? I, I had a quote for the gable ends. I don't have what I don't I don't have the capital plan with me. The problem was the gable ends we I put in sixteen. It was funded with a certain amount from capital, remainder coming from water and sewer. And there's no money in water and sewer. We also the ventilate the ventilation and there was a couple other ones that were funded partially with Russell school money that was left over so it they're not all funded if you look at the capital number it's not what the bid was or what the quote was for so more what the uh, gable ends how, how much did we have left over for the gable end what did they say for capital we had for gable end just said funded yeah. He didn't say what the number was. He did. I don't know what the number is. I think what we need to do is not try to guess a lot of this stuff. I think Gary and I need to work on this and have a meeting. I have all the capital stuff in, a, in yeah. another folder. So can we just forego that and have a meeting um, in the next w two weeks, possibly? I'm and just, I'm just thinking if there was, say, five or ten for the gable ends, that was found in the last meeting that you spoke about. Um, and there's no money in the water or sewer um, available, so it should be added out of the 65 or the 125 to get the job done. And that's what we need to do, right? Okay. And I didn't have all those figures with me at the municipal at the capital. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's that was the all of the capital that I put in for last year. Not and one of them was funded fully with capital. They were either subsidized with Russell School money or money from a, another budget in a department. And there was also, I know, a couple that the police had put in for an evidence door that the same thing it was funded capital and some of it was from Russell School money. So, and the problem is, you know, especially now with the move here, we're not sure if both of those monies are still available in their entirety. Okay, so l let me just understand the status of these then. The, the basement window replacement at Town Hall, you got a bid for that? No, we did not. No. There so was we're going to have to just do an estimate on that? Yeah. Okay. Did none of us guess that, or, you know, have, have they, any... They wanted a 10-year capital, and that's stuff that I probably won't even know where I'm, where I'm living at that point. How many windows? From Six. 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 Okay. Maybe I can pull something out of my estimators. I mean, um, we we, put, we budget them at five fifty installed. That's what yeah, I with guess. municipal rates or yeah. whatever. It's uh, oh, yeah, five fifty would whatever. seem to be. Okay. That's what we looked at. Okay. Uh, the town hall counter replacement. Did we get an estimate on that, or we have? That was very old. I mean, that was thirty seven fifty. I think. I think we should bump that up. Yeah, there's a lower down to two now. Yeah, now we're down to two. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know, uh, yeah, we're down to two. So two thousand? No, no, two two, two instead counters. of three. Two counters instead of three counters, yeah. and it was thirty-seven fifty. Yeah. Okay. That might work for two counters. And the gable ends. Did we? How about that one? I know I put in for sixteen. Yeah, I believe it was. Capital was. Ten or Ten. maybe even eight. I'm not positive. Ten. Ten. Okay. But the problem is when you go to get the money from the other account, the Russell School account, there might still be money in there that we have access to, but the we don't have access to the... Yeah, well, I don't want to work out where the water. money is. I just want to know mm -hmm. if we have numbers. The Sally Port upgrade, I'd be a bit on that or estimate um, on that. We yeah, have an old have. insulation. Yeah, that's an old that's, insulation. That's an old quote. We never got a old price on tearing the ceiling down. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just thinking if there's anything you want to go back and get somebody to estimate it for us, then maybe yeah. maybe that might be one you want to that have is somebody one, that get is you a quote. That, I don't know if we ever really had one. On okay, true so estimate. you need a new quote on the estimate on the uh, Sally Port. 
Gotcha. Okay. Uh, renovations to the trailers? I have no idea how we would estimate that. I mean, which one are you going to pick? They're all the two of them are the same year. And one of them is even older. So you're going to pick. Cost much to fill and a flame throw. I, I think what we need, then this is where we, we need to do the um, review of the buildings and come up to consensus what to do with those those trailers and help Chris out to some extent. Yeah. We have to be a little... I'm, I'm worried about trying to put fresh nails or doors into something that's rotten. <laughs> and that could very well be that the decision of the committee is that neither one can be salvaged. And that we There's should three, don't forget. Them. That I know. I think I, I mean, that the oldest one that Mike had the, his office in originally. The original, that's the brake trailer break in my in office, yeah. That's, it's getting, the roof starting They're to tired. leak around the air. The air conditioners are gone, pretty much. They couldn't keep up last year. We yeah. kind of thought that stuff was junk when we looked at it last time. They were yeah. used when we got them, don't forget. They weren't new. It was two years then. ago, right? Right, was Michael's was used too, wasn't yeah, it? I, I, I think was, so. Yeah. Yeah, and that's been there, what, well over 25 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds it like a waste of money to put anything. I mean, other than like replacing the carpeting or something and oh, it's, it's cleaning it thoroughly. The mice go in there, and you know, the yeah. roof is How starting. Much is to... that new trailer? Did we look into that one, Sandy or somebody? Yeah, I mean, you That's... can get relatively new used office trailers. There was a double wide you could get for thirty five thousand. But you can rent them monthly too. No, yeah. it was a short term. But well, it's not twenty five years. That's short term. Yeah, for Hadley. <laughs> Plus some, probably some site prep or something of yeah, uh, five grand or something. Two, yeah, because do, do the utility well, two of the three are tied into sewer mm -hmm. and water. Right. That's for you. Just, uh, that, yeah. The it doesn't well, always cost anything. us too, right? <laughs> Getting rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but if they're going to keep putting patches on junk. You know? Yeah, well, though, after a while, uh, no, fixing campers work. and trailers is no, there's not a lot to work with there. Yeah. If you got a loader, you can just dump it and put it in the dumpster. And yeah, you just right, dr drive over them. Yeah. And put them in a dumpster. That's what they usually do. Yeah, and then it, it, it's, yeah. it's worth replacing them sooner than later. Before it becomes to the point where somebody gets hurt, well, or you, you know, or you, you go in and all your equipment's water damaged. It's soaked, yeah. If something collapses, or let's go. Well, I'm also worried that the <coughs> employees can get sick from. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got for the 125 the office trailer, which you said is uh, about thirty-five thousand per plus site costs. I'm guessing it'd be at least another five thousand. Yeah, easily. Yeah, because you got to have them, you know, rewired, replumbed. Yeah, and Larry's and specs will fit into, he, right. he should be able to write that up. The public safety complex, second floor HVAC, did we get a price on that when we um, did the first phase? Do we know what it's worth, how much it's? Which, what are we talking about? The uh, public H safety complex HV, HVAC, uh, I've got the second two quotes floor. for those, I've, and updated. One okay. of them actually came in less than what we thought originally, and the other one is just a whisker over. So that's a good quote. That one we Those can are good quotes, by. yes. All right. We're waiting for just a go-ahead. and It's a go-ahead. The uh, yeah, install overhead the doors on North Hadley uh, Tobacco Barn. Uh, they're going to put that on hold because they, rent, they oh. rented them. Yeah. So they're right. on hold for at least a year. Okay. And 10000 for broken school, Russell School slates. That's about what we spent in we previous spent years. Eight thousand historically. Well, I haven't spent it in a while, yeah. but the last times we did it, I think it was <laughs> around three or four thousand each time. Well, so, it's it's been so long. That's why uh, well, the, la sure the last would, price we had right. in capital was eight thousand. So okay. I upped it to okay. ten, yeah. and it's back down to eight on the list. Okay, so but, I think the only really, it's not leaking. No, it's not. But there not. are some. I know there are some slates that need to be replaced. You can see them. Yeah, it's probably the right thing to do. Keep it, keep it, keep it dry. So the only thing you need to to get then is uh, Gary is the uh, the new quote for the Sally Port. Yeah, yeah. Should and I get then, a quote for roof slates or? Yeah. See what they get. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Right. It certainly wouldn't. 
Okay, so that should help you get the numbers closer for the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Well, we did that. Um, so does that cover everything under the warrant articles? Is there a yes. uh, time frame on any of this? Any Sooner than later. Warrant is there, the warrant, when? Uh, I mean, when's the meeting? When's the town meeting? May? Second. May 2nd. May 2nd. So... Um, warrant, the warrant, are, warrant is closed, but we can update the values, right? Yeah, yeah. Have, which we have before. Okay. So we need to, we'll, we'll, we need to address it. But <coughs> Gary's really his time right now is moving. Yeah. Oh, let me just ask. Um, nothing here. We feel like we need to get CPA money for. None of this could get broken out and go towards the CPA. I didn't think so. But I thought I I'd say it. I would cover any of it. Yeah. No, they won't. Okay. All right. We well, know the trail is historic. How long they have to be? <laughs> it could very well be the yours is. <laughs> we'll get one of those old air streams. <laughs> okay. So uh, you got the. Is that all for the Warren Oracles line? Yes. Anything else? Mm -hmm. The new parking lot, Russell School. Um, I'm having a heck of a time with Berkshire. I, I, I don't I know what to tell you about that, but. Um, Last time there was a meeting here, uh, Carlos was here, Carlos, yeah. and he was in the hallway, and I caught him. I said, uh, I've, I've sent your, your office three emails and, and not gotten a response, and he said, oh, let me, let me, get, let me get you something, and um, I emailed him, and then I followed up one more time, and he said, I'll have it for you after next week, and he didn't get it to me, so I emailed him again, and that was two weeks ago, and I have not gotten a response at that point either, so... They don't seem too anxious for it. I'm not sure why. I mean, they they do good work. I, yeah, I've seen I mean, I've seen I, their, I see their design, it but I don't very well be because yeah. of the planning board. Issues. It could be, you know, and you know, we there's other there's well, other companies we can reach out to. They are working on the fire station. They yeah, have, he Carlos has that contract, and I yeah, and that's that, probably that, why he's that here before. You know, it, what, why don't you ask him? I mean, I'll run by him again. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we could we can go to VHB or there's other firms. Um, mm -hmm. You know. So I don't know if it's a good time to bring it up, but the parking lot was brought up at the library meeting only because once the library project starts, or even the senior center, the driveway is going to switch in terms of accessibility. At points, at points of time, the parking by the library won't be available. So it was suggested that we look for an alternate site for parking during construction during the whole process. So. Yeah. Um, that's why Russell School is, should become a priority at this point if that's what we're doing. Okay. Because there is nothing planned. Okay. Um, that's and that's for the patrons. That's not for the construction workers. Mm -hmm. so, so you're talking their construction for anybody that wants to go to the, to go to the library. library. They will not have access all the time if they even have it. So. And it's dangerous to park on Middle Street. Oh, I was going to say, is, is, is it out of the question to put some parallel spots on middle street it seems pretty wide there it's but dangerous not, not really that, especially that, with that now bit, especially with the construction vehicles going in and out true. it's so yeah. tough yeah. because you've got the lane splitting and you go to pull out and if there's a lot of times where i've had to wait for two light changes just mm -hmm. to take a left coming out of there with but, with no issues being going on right now mm. that's why we tried to change the entrance <laughs> I know, you right? Need, you know. That extra, 50 that extra few whatever, feet makes a big difference. You can stage so. two or three more, yeah, and then so plus Dunkin' Donuts traffic coming yeah. in and out right directly across from you. I spent a lot of time at that light, Gary. I see you there every morning. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably not the only time you cross through there. Yeah, it's it, I mean, like I said, pulling out of the senior center. Sometimes you can spend, you can wait, you know, a couple, and then you think you can go, and people going towards Amherst just start banging the left and you know you don't want to come out of there real quick you'll get there clobbered. isn't really any other solutions other than russell school or some variation of hopkins or something like that but even that fills up every but day. you know there are some spots there that people you know during yeah the day, yeah the, you know the front row is getting it's usually you know half to two-thirds full with people from town hall are doing business there but there are spots in behind that, you know they did put a coat of pavement on there that you can what could we do? Five or to six cars could go in there. Yeah. What could we do to it temporarily? Could we? Could we? You know, scrape back the lawn I mean, and I know put some sub base in there and just call well, it there, a day. Well, there's a fairly good. I know, like you know, during church on Sundays, they 
there'll be five or six, seven, eight cars parked behind, you know, between the building yeah. and the shrubs. Yeah. But how do you, well, I guess you just take the sidewalk to, from the front door. And the sidewalk the, is right to there. To the crosswalk. It's, yeah. yeah. yeah you well, there's the one over there, and then you've got the other one here, so. Okay. You come across there and go over here. And we really do need to get rid of the, the parking. Yeah, because you it's can, not safe. It isn't safe. It's anybody that tries to back out is going to get creamed. you got to back in. Especially increased service there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's, so you, know, you look and you the, think you're okay, and then somebody takes a quick left or right, you know, now all of a sudden they're Is the right library there. going to support requesting that as a... I think they were, they were looking for solutions, and I did bring it up that we had looked at this and we thought that was great, but I don't think they're willing to take it on. Willing to pay for yeah. it, too? <laughs> well, I don't know if they can, you know, because they're already paying for the move over here. Yeah. You know, that's... I mean, it is on. It is, is. It is a capital. That's coming out of a budget that they didn't have a budget is. for. Well, there's no warrant article to 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 fund any side uh, any well, parking lot there. I don't think so. That's no. Thing. So we we could have yeah we could have a, a design accomplished, but we wouldn't have any funding yeah. unless we got a warrant article for construction of the parking lot, which is going to be a quarter million bucks probably in the end. And then you got to fight planning board over it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, lighting, drainage, right. wayfinding, traffic signage. And then we'd have to get the markings. support of the planning board, and we don't know if we can oh, get I know. Well, I, I guess, first of all, maybe we should see if we got support of the select board. I think we push that along. I think well, we, we did. We are, we already we got support from the select board. I, I presented it to them, and they thought it was a good idea. And they said, go ahead and advance the design. They didn't say, you know... Go ahead and hire a contractor to build it. Yeah. But so if um, if that parking lot was approved, I guess it would be used for this building. Right. But as yeah. far as what planning board said when they approved the new library and the senior center, that don't make any plans for Goodwin because it's no parking. And this wouldn't count. Right. Across the street, unless we had a bylaw change. Right. Regardless, we still need it. it needs to for be the approved. temporary solution and, well, and for the town. Just I mean, you would, you'd be surprised how many times somebody will park at one of these spots or the other and walk, you know, they've got business. Yeah. Not, you know, it's faster to walk across the street than it is to get in your car, wait for the set of lights, <laughs> you know, and it go over be. and park. You know, right. really. I mean, the only real pushback we got was from Select Board indicating that there was some concern that if we opted to sell Russell School, then whatever we put into a parking lot could potentially be lost. It would go with the building or would have to arrange some kind of, um, you know, easement or something to have a certain amount of spaces. Easy enough to get an easement or draw a new boundary line. And, I would say uh, that would be better. That's, yeah. yeah. And this would be municipal parking period mm -hmm. for the town right. of the parking lot layout that I did just as a concept was pretty close to the front door, you know, so you would lose up to maybe eight to eight feet from this from the steps. Yeah. You well, know, remember, so you wouldn't have much side lot there. If, if we have, if anything was ever done with that building, you know the west side's gonna be the main entrance, most likely. Mm -hmm. But you'd also accessible. have to deal with the compensatory storage for additional right. parking lot if you built the parking lot on the on the west side, which you know might be a little bit of a challenge for a new owner to undertake. Mm. To say the least. Well, yeah. They fill it up. Fill it in. Yeah. So right. Maintain it. Anyway, so that that's a concern, but but they said go ahead and advance the design, and I was hoping to have a at least an estimate for construction, and we could we could put that out to town town meeting. But well, Marlowe got something, didn't he? I don't know. You talked to Marlowe, and then I talked to Marlowe, and he said I'm willing to help you, right. but I can't design it I can't, no, he, uh, but I thought he went and got some type I don't of think a, so I no. think he maybe had Guess. Warner Brothers or something look at doing something but I don't yeah. think it was any no engineering Real involved true. the only problem I see with it is the slope goes from south to north towards Route 9 and I'm not sure how you're going to deal with that you're going to have to have some kind of closed drainage system there because it's 
Otherwise, you're going to flood Route 9. You know, it won't be enough uh, green space between the two to, you know, per, uh, perk that through there. So, um, not sure what, how the drainage design is going to work, you know. But somebody smarter than me could figure it out. Some civil engineer could figure that out. How many work cars were you uh, proposing? I want to say there was 30. So, like, two lines? And yeah, it was double-loaded. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a simple double-loaded with a couple of stripe spaces on the end to turn around, come back out, and it connected to the access drive uh, down to Hopkins, you know, similar to the way it is now. And, uh, it eliminates the street parking here. Between Middle Street and uh, the parking lot? And what do you got, like? Yeah. Of, uh, green space? Uh, yeah. There was there was uh, sidewalk. sidewalk and green space. So it was probably eight, 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 eight plus five, roughly 13, 14 feet with the curb somewhere thereabouts. Yeah. Snow shelf there. Well, hopefully Gary can get him to move Berkshire. Yeah, and yeah. Not yeah, that I mean, we should you know, go someplace else. I mean, I think we're missing. I don't think we could get anything on fall or spring now anyway. But. No. Warrants closed, and it would be a right. pretty big dollar value right. for anybody to sort of back after all these projects. I don't know, but I, I don't want to put them in a lurch with with the town. I mean, with uh, with the library. I'm just wondering if there's something well, we could talk to the EPW director about. There are some spots over there that somebody yeah. can park. Did I mean, they say how many they would ideally need? No. What do they well, have over there now? How many spots do you have over there now? Probably about nine, I'd say. Yeah, maybe. Plus, uh, well, you can put that many cars. Behind, you know, into behind Russell School yeah, right now. I mean, in the winter, it's a little muddy. You know, if it was a little bit more well marked, and and you know, maybe maybe some of the broken pavement was yeah. removed, well, and it was just you know cleaned up a little bit. I guess if you needed a little bit more, you know, why couldn't you dig out some lawn, just put some hard pack in there? And yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Just there is that. some hard pack up there. It needs to be dressed up a little bit. Yeah. But when you know they used it, they did blacktop a fairly good right. you, you know Back section of it. And there is some. Oh, the contractor you know, when he put the when they used it for, yeah. uh, you know, they made a strip in there. I mean, you know, like I said. You know, on Sundays, there's quite a few people that actually park back there. Yeah, we should take a look at it. Maybe we could just, you know, clean Make it up, stripe it up, it and something. Yeah. put a couple signs relative to overflow parking or whatever, and wayfinding from the library in that direction. A couple and that's of signs. A sidewalk to the intersection. I don't think there's anything like that. So you know, well, you can come. Well, the you one that goes across. Up, the one they temporary one they put in is still there, so you could come across and go this way. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying. And there also the is the line. sidewalk that still goes down. It doesn't go out to the intersection, uh, but it goes yeah. down across. That's the old one? Yeah. Not that yeah. that's a yeah, good sidewalk. Okay. This is a good argument for why we need like 125000 or whatever that figure is. If we have these type of things, we can use that money to help on this and forego other projects for the time being. But here we're sitting, we have no way of funding something. Mm -hmm. that, that's a, a, a huge need. Yep. There's, there's plenty of work. You need, you need it would, to yeah, do it. It would, it would cover that for sure. Right. It doesn't have to be towards Larry if we had right. a consultant do the. So uh, well, we got six thousand there. Could we use Larry for Larry what? what? Design in the. Well, I mean, he would, he it would have to be a civil engineer. Well, he has he has everybody on staff. Yeah. Well, we can call them. We could ask. I, I just want to make sure it's somebody that gets the whole planning board interaction because it, well, it's Carlos, not like Carlos cut and dry. Is that he's redesigning. Yeah, it's, you know drainage. what I mean. I mean, I know it's I know it's written in the bylaws, but it doesn't mean when you go there, you're going to understand what they're looking for. And so I don't want any surprises. Well, Larry's been in front of him several yeah. times. He's he's doing the 200 Russell Street. Well. Oh. We're also creating more parking than what's there, so I'm not quite seeing the planning board issue right away, unless it's related to Russell School. It's, we're not it, saying it's for the library; it's for increasing parking in this general center. So, but it does require site plan approval. Yes, it does. And that's you know, so that triggers all the all the checklists, right? That they have to say we accomplished. Yeah. I'm not saying they're going to be opposed to it. I'm saying they've got to check the box that we did a third party engineering review and we did right. you know dark sky compliant lighting and all that business yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, lighting but calcs other than that i mean we're going to do all that yeah yeah but preventing the parking lot from going in there what would be a reason to do that 
I don't think there is. Like, I don't think that they would prevent it, which is yeah. no. as they used to. No, but they, I mean, you would think that, that uh, you know, our, our vendors would be jumping at the chance to put in more parking in Hadley because historically they've got a lot of money from Hadley to design parking and redesign parking <laughs> and redesign parking. But I'll call Larry up tomorrow because yeah, so he's can't done hurt. a number of projects. I'll, for I'll send you, I, I wrote a full scope and had a concept Please. drawing, which I sent to Berkshire like and three we can, times. You can forward um, it over to Larry. It's a package that basically you could write a scope from without a lot of extra effort. Great. Um, and I'll get that to you and we yeah, I mean, I'll, you know, if, if we get two bids, what's the harm, yeah, right? Yeah. So That's right. yeah Okay I'll, I'll um, call them up. I'll put that on my list to I do here Check the planning board too, see if they would have any issues that we can just jump to the chase right now I'm not the one to talk to the planning board. <laughs> you don't want to be put on their agenda? You don't have enough paper Tomorrow night, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no freaking way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm just making it out here. Oh, yeah, the planning board, like you're saying, it's basically check all the boxes for this new parking lot. But the way I'm looking at it is to sell it to the taxpayers. If you can't use it for a good one, at least at this point, it's going to be a hard sell. So you're going to also be looking at, and I know it's not this committee's business really but you got to make it so it can be for the good later on right it could be for you know mm -hmm. voting town meeting there's times where you know you're parking oh, yeah. at the right. senior yeah. center running across but, or you're getting stuck in the field i mean yeah. there's always yeah. there's always, there's always a need for parking you don't have to be, right so it's just yeah there's multiple uses it's right not just that right but i understand what david's saying because yeah. it's an easier sell if you're saying, hey, this right. solves Goodwin's problem. Right. Right. Because it solves so many problems in town. You know the town is going to need to use yeah. that building. And somehow, you know, either the planning board has to change it or somebody had a town meeting has to change it. So municipal buildings. I mean, there's days when this parking lot is full. Because you've got, you know, something yeah. going on at the oh, church. It's I'm a still trying to understand that anyway because it's still a town building. It's not being changed in any way other than who's using it. Yeah. It's still municipal uses, so... It probably doesn't have enough parking according to the bylaw. Well, where so... Is, are, is but it? it's existing. Are you, argue, are you arguing that uh, if, if we recommended a new use for the good one that we wouldn't have to go to planning board for anything? Because I'm kind of thinking you might be right, but there's probably some hook there I'm missing. Yeah, we'd have to bet that. Yeah, out, yeah. But, you know, it's... It, it Unless does say use, change of use. Change so of use. When they, so I've argued this with the planning board many, many times. My change of use, based on building code, is totally different from theirs. They said change of use is, well, if you got one retail tenant going out and another one coming in, they need to review it. But why? I mean, there's if you no have definition the same section use. in the bylaws that, that hmm? define. There's no definition section on the bylaws. There's that the that. crux. Yeah. And they kept it out for how long? <laughs> for 30 freaking years. <laughs> and that's the reason. Yeah. You're I don't right. Know how you deal with that? <laughs> because the building code defines change of use and yeah. defines every term in the building well, code, you know, so yeah. you look at it. And the first one I dealt with was fences mm. with them. And day one. <laughs> Where's your definition of fence? <laughs> we have no definition. Well, my definition it's, is it's what they say it is, or what? Yeah, right. That's exactly. Okay. Well, we think it's a good idea. We'll advance the design. Yeah, we'll see if we can get some money for the construction. Up. Meantime, maybe we talk to DPW about what we could do to get it more immediately oh, yeah, needed. <laughs> all those yeah. definitions Let's written. Look at those bylaws. <laughs> they're all written up. We spent. Quite a lot of money, town's money, to have those definition, definitions written up by Pioneer Valley. Mm -hmm. and Expanded across the, the state. And they brought them in, and there was no second to the vote on talking about it. So what happens? Mm -hmm. It just dies. You need definitions for things. Of to, course to you do. It's, it's very hard to make decisions without them. And nothing is clear to anybody. And we right. saw that with parking. Yeah. So I did change the parking bylaw. I did make a proposal for that in quite a number of 
different items. Wasn't there talk and about it is coming up for a fall declaration town Declaration of emergency in the federal government, right? Yeah. <laughs> we see it we see it in all kinds of politics. Weren't they uh, talking about going with a full time planner instead of the planning board, talk about changing the Well that's the town. An, that's another a thought. Okay. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. All right. So I think we cover this the parking lot <laughs> yeah. and the trailers. I think we covered yeah. already. Yeah. Um, we covered Larry's we need role. To, we need to set a new date for a walkthrough yeah. for municipal buildings. And and well, we were all here except for David. But are you aware of what we did there, David? We essentially went to all the municipal buildings that were our purviews under and and walked each of them and actually it was on camera in fact and we just uh we had some people there sometimes and not but everyone walked through it and kind of identified immediate needs and things we should repair or be you know consider over the over the short term and it was really useful to get us our critical needs that, list yeah, we, that was where all of our well I, I think it'd be uh, a big help to me and Claire not yeah anything about having been in these areas for a long time yeah yeah agreed um and i think we all thought it was a useful oh, exercise oh, oh, I, yes. I think both times we did it was a saturday morning right mm -hmm. yeah um and that seemed to work um so you okay with saturday mornings david yeah um, we just need to get claire to i to, think claire I, said know, she couldn't do it on the, was it the 13th 13th yeah if you're getting toward the uh, end of the month of well end of april yeah that'd be good for me yeah i'd um, rather do it sooner too so do it sooner or May. I mean, I could even do it the 30th, but. The, uh, uh, Tuesday? Oh, well, no, that's a Saturday, isn't it? March 30th? March 30th. Oh, March. No, I, could, I could do it this Saturday, even. <laughs> Yeah, I could, well, the 30th I could do. I can't do it the 5th. We're gone that week. And the 13th is, she's not going to be available. Is it, I mean, that's a little bit short notice, but I can do it. Or what do you think, Tim? Are you, are you available the 30th, March 30th? Yeah. A week from Saturday. So let's check with Claire. I think we could tentatively schedule it at that point. What time? afternoon or? I mean, I I don't know. I like the morning. I, I morning. Like the morning. Yeah. yeah, get it done. I think we found it at nine o'clock. Yeah. Before. Five o'clock? Not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like five? <laughs> Do we want to respond to her email now and see if she uh, she's good with that? Yeah, if you want to, sure. You doing that, Tan? Do that. Okay. And uh, how long does that user take? Like well, what hours? are we going to do? DPW? We're going to do took all a while. The, yeah. I mean, you know. Well, we're not going to do. We're not going to do. Might have been three center. hours. Right. No, we don't have to do <laughs> right, the senior right. center. <laughs> right. That's, that's have. an easy one. Um, yeah, it was like three hours. I mean, we finished at mm -hmm. lunchtime. Yeah, mm -hmm. three hours would be plenty. All right. Let's wait to hear from Claire, but the. Mm -hmm. 3.30, roughly 9 a.m. or so, right? Is that, are we thinking about that time? Yeah, 9 okay. a.m. and we'll start at Town Hall. Why sure, not? We can hit all these right here and then go down to the DPW. Good. Okay. Let's see what Claire says. I'd like her to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As far as North Valley Hall, would you have a bother with that now? I wouldn't. You don't want to go up there. It's for sale, right? right? If I mean, you guys want to sale. see it, we'll go, but. Screen. We've Check already made a determination, like you know. That Don't bring anything flammable. <laughs> right. They might want to see it. Are the pigeons still getting in up there? They're only in the belfry. Yeah. They're not down into the attic. Yeah. But we never put that screen up, up behind the louvers or whatever no, we're going to do. No, because... Yeah. We were supposed to sell it. <laughs> the lightning. Yeah, right, I know, I know. The lightning hit it and it didn't even <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. blew apart everything. Okay, so we did that, or we'll wait to hear from Claire. Uh, Larry Tuttle's role during construction phases. We went, we that. went over that. Um, vote on fire. Why Why does the planning board, is? why are they asking us to vote on the fire substation placement? It's one person. 
It's really one person. Um, uh, what am I missing, though? Hadn't, hadn't we... Uh, I mean, they have, a, they have a subcommittee. There's a subcommittee. Uh, the designers, the architects, and the engineers designed it. Um, they There was a problem. Somebody had a problem with the driveway, even though it was exactly like the other one that was in a bad spot. So they redesigned it. They redesigned that. They put a, They made it so you can loop through, and it's a very good design. Myron came up with that one. So that's that got approved at our last meeting. Um, mm -hmm. So the drive, they don't back in any longer, or... Yeah, instead of backing it off a nice straightaway in a long driveway, they just talk about putting a hammerhead in mm. or a rotary, which you can't plow. And then Myron, because the other driveway comes up like this, so Myron said just go right across the, the driveway the in front of the building right up next to the sidewalk, which is perfect for plowing. You shovel the snow off the sidewalk and you plow it off. So that's a nice, easy fix. Shouldn't affect the cost. So they took care of that. Right now... One of the problems with it is the, the town bylaw reads that your drainage should try to drain off into swales and, and, and leach through site. the property and stay on site. Yeah. Now they want to put underground leaching basins in, which require maintenance and a lot more money. But you're still maintaining the first one inch of flow on site per the DEP requirements, right? So, But leaching that... basins is another eighty to $5,000, and it, you have to maintain them and clean yeah. them. And the town right now doesn't even have a place to dump it when you clean it. So yeah, uh, yeah, and it addresses and water quality as well as, as well as water. Right, and, water and it's quality, going against what so. the bylaw reads. Yes, and uh, the little basin was nine inches deep. Yeah, and all it meant was no, don't mow the grass. No, you have to mow the grass, but you have to clean it out. Yeah. Mow it twice yeah. a year, and, yeah. and don't yeah. let it's it like sit a rain in. garden then. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's so, eighty thousand dollars more. Yeah. No, to put the yeah, leaching to basins. Put the basin oh, oh. In. You know, put the underground, underground water, basin. okay, underground basins. But that was only if um, the bids came in low enough for. That bid is set. right on. It, the bid is like even right now. For either or. Not for the no but minus the leaching, the eighty thousand. It's right on. But I mean, the way the they, estimate, right? But we the problem bid, was the way the yeah. selectmen voted on it. It was a, a subtract alt, and you can't do that on a bid. You have to have either all add alts or all subtract alts. So you, you can't say, well, if it, if we have extra, we'll do this, but if we don't, you know, so we had to, they had to reword it and come up with a thing, even though we recommended not doing that leaching base at all. We voted again on not doing it because it's just more money for the town to maintain. And Until the leaching basins are full, and then you have to rip out the parking lot. Right. Or you have to clean them out, and you have to suck that stuff out, and you have to go dump it somewhere. Yeah. And we don't have a, our permit expired for dumping it, so now we have to pay to have it hauled off, mm -hmm. like catch basins, if we ever if we clean them, the like we had chance, some clean. Right. Yeah. So this could be a, just a mute point now. And it it could be. Pass over. You know. But so, yeah, I mean, I would, it's been designed. To where seems to know. me like. And the only other holdup they've got is they they're talking about putting a twelve hundred gallon grease trap. Buried in the lawn. For it's a just kitchen a, that it's might a never single, It's a single sink and a, right. a homeowner's stove. That's all that's so there. You'll never even You're not going to fill it with water, never mind grease, in a year. So we're trying to get over that regulation, too. And Is that and a plus, building code plus, requirement, Tim? Hmm? Is that a building code requirement? No. It's a sewer requirement. It's a sewer there are, plus a small one inside. Yeah, but I thought as long as you have a grease trap at the source. You know, they are. They the want both. Yeah. They want both. Wow. Yes. Because uh, it was like. It's a sewer regulation. The dining commons were doing it's at the source. Huh? And yeah. What? But we always also had. There's to make not even sure a dishwasher there. The uh, floor drains are in the kitchens. Are Tied in, tie into that. Or right. Have their own traps. Yeah. We, we wouldn't have to have anything outside if we had. Inside. They want both, one inside and a big one outside. It's crazy. Is there an oil water separator? On the yes, on the mm -hmm. in the bay side, yes. Yeah. That's required. You can't tie them together. No. Mm -mm. No. Hmm. It's gonna be called the substation bar and grill. <laughs> right. You get one of those guys that makes seriously. Uh, it's a single base. Makes <laughs> petroleum products out of the <laughs> grease thing. You get the grease car. It, it's a single sink. <laughs> Right. With a four burner household stove, so why would you and no dishwasher? So 
So why do you, why do you need such a large one? I guess I can, you I can see them saying that's grease strap. That's the source, right? Does it have a code to say that thing? No. That's it, it, why it's is a quote it if it's commercial because it's a part of our sewer bylaw regulation that that. 1500 gallon tank is required but that's go for a variant but if it was something? a house you wouldn't need it they're no. considering that as a possible like commercial like commercial type. anytime that you have a cooking facility it's not regulation. a cooking facility the hope is that that's take good. out the stove and give them a microwave and say there you go now it's not a cooking facility. the hope is that hmm. over time that there's no dishwasher everybody's going to be on paper plates you won't have to wash your dishes burns so what's the extra value for the extra grease trap? Oh, How much is that? That's some good size money. Plus you got to pay to have it inspected because they charge it. That they're the only department that charges the other towns mm -hmm. for doing that. It's a lot. And you have to pay to have it taken out and cleaned every year, like a basically a cleaning a septic tank and disposed of. You're supposed to have it cleaned every year. But that was the whole reason why they put the 1500 gallon tank in was because the smaller ones weren't being cleaned and nor were they being inspected so they never got cleaned and everything got so they said ah let's put it let's make everybody put a 1500 gallon tank well guess what after seven years nobody cleaning those that's even worse to try to clean up <laughs> so, so, so where, where the big miss is yeah. whoever's supposed to be inspecting should do their job to make sure it's being cleaned and mm -hmm. show so, evidence that each grease trap is clean and yeah so we right. are there's discussions on what what we should do we're trying going they're forward. trying to they're working forth with that and i think this the like we're supposed to talk about it tomorrow oh yeah wednesday night i think that's coming up all right well does anyone see the need to vote on anything relative to the fire substation it doesn't sound like we any of us think we we need to well, do we have a site plan anyway we don't even have a site plan to look at right so yeah, I mean, well, we you did know, that one. you've we, described so we it. We had one us, here. We took it. We took it back. Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, because we needed it for our meeting. But I mean, it's it's laid out the way, it's the exact same design that was going to be in the other one. Only we put it on a higher piece of property where the engineers had done stuff. Because in the back part of that property, there is. So some why don't you make a motion that do we need to have this? discussed any further? I, I do. Do you want to take a vote on it? We can take a vote I, on I, where it's placed, or do you want to? I haven't even seen the site plan. I mean, if I'm going to vote on something, I want somebody it. to actually present it to me uh -huh. in a case where I can I ask questions. And no, I took it. You took it? Yeah. Back, we needed so it for what the was meeting. the concern for the site plan? Somebody was concerned that it was, I think it was mostly the driveway. Mm -hmm. And now the driveway has been addressed. They wanted, that one person wanted the building turned 90 degrees mm -hmm. to have the base face south that the entrance would be directly in line with that's not really facing south though give me a break southwest the, the, go in and five then or ten degrees to the west yeah. or whatever. <laughs> well he wanted what he wanted yeah. them facing not the road no that's correct oh then that it would be south yeah south but he, he, he was he was more south. worried about the driveway and that's why Without he wanted that, it turned or with a hammerhead <laughs> no that's not what he said I mean, so we have, we have a subcommittee. We have a we have an OPM. Yeah. We what, have a. Designer. He also wanted it to come and straight out of the, what we, the could, what we could add to it. Right. The the guys a lot well a lot smarter. Than, already, guys a lot smarter it. than me designed that thing, and yeah. and it was you know Berkshire Design who does most of their review for their board laid all that stuff out with the with the wetlands and the way the slope of the land is yeah. and the pitch to the sewer because of the height so, there the con so so we don't spend any more time i don't the think consensus by this committee is, not, is that no there's need no to need to vote. vote on it thank you right i think we're all in agreement i, agree with that. I don't think we need to vote this, that yeah, okay. we're not voting second Let's guess go. somebody just to yeah. do it Let's okay go to the next keep one. moving <laughs> all right so we've got a date um no good so we got all the new items required yeah, if you just get that into the minutes, Dave, that, that we had a brief discussion and determined it was not necessary. Uh, okay, so do we want to go building by building? North Valley Village Hall, no, we, have a, there if you, we have if a commercial real a estate. Or we have a commercial real estate agent that's there is trying that's to supposed sell to be it. trying to figure out if it's sellable. If it's uh, we own it. If we own it? Yeah, yeah. 
There's no D. There's no clear D <laughs> to that field. It gets worse. Oh, the field. Yeah. But the building. Oh, no, the building. building. The building we have. No, we don't. Oh, well, that's not what okay. I heard last. It was the field. Well, then maybe they the field that. is what they well, Who owns about. it then? If we don't own it. Well, there's no clear D. Okay. okay. There's no paper that says yeah, yeah. specifically. 1865, that. remember? It's not something that's going to hold up and, yeah. you know. It was built for the town. Right? It wasn't it wasn't a public the, or private The building was property. there, and then supposedly that land was gifted at yeah. one point. The land separately to the north of it, though. Yes. The yeah. Ball field. yeah but okay. That's part of the sale. So. Okay, no no sense in going any further. Senior Center, were, uh, anything, Dan, on, on subcommittees or uh, Gary? There's a, a meeting tomorrow. I don't yeah. think I'm going to go, but I think there's just a Two sign. That, yeah, just to. Um, Is it out to bid yet? Yeah, oh, it's the bids are back. Yeah, the bids are back. Yeah. 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 Who is the low bidder? A million dollars low. Four, four, four Force, force, force construction. It, it, came it was in, a million low? It came in a million low. Now that to me um, says a lot so. about um, how the, you know, a bunch of the, a bunch of the town's money is about to be wasted. If they, you know, we had, we had um, uh, the OPM came up with estimates. They, you know, and they used their estimators and they, they come up with all these estimates and they mm -hmm. estimate way high. It comes in a million. Well, there was well, also another. The, there was two estimators on each job. Right. And they both were close. Right. But not close to what the estimate. No, the quotes. Were. Well, and right. so, so no, normally the OPN would have to validate the estimate. Have they done that to to? Yes, they went back over everything with it. And okay. So but, now, now we have all this, you know, money that we're not going to spend that we probably should have spent on radiant. Heat or metal roof right. or some, some walls. Well, yeah, some quality really engineering weird. that we missed out on. And you didn't have any ads to it or anything. We like have that. some. Yes, there's a few ads, but it, okay. I mean, that, well, it's you, just, so you get it, those, but very, to me, it just becomes I think, very inefficient. But, but like, the problem too is though, this was a good time to bid. Oh yeah, yeah, and, without a doubt. And like yeah, Myra, I mean, that, it and is. Like it said, is in a good sense. The library way, and yeah. the fire station are coming up. Most of these guys have got work on their plate now, so I don't think you're going to see these. You know, of course, senior center is a different type of building yeah. too. That's got you know, and this forest is just did what the West Hampton. Which one was it? The Westfield. I don't know. He had done the Westfield one, which everybody liked. That was on the committee before I got on it. So, was there a recommendation to award? For forest? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's all, all set done. to go. Yeah. We had the pre-construction meeting. Oh yeah, the, the pre con and, right. okay. and we have the drawings. So well, I suppose that. Start date. They were talking with shovels in the ground the yeah, next couple of weeks. Within weeks here now, yeah. I'd like to spend a couple hours with those drawings. Do you want to review some drawings? Can't be that hard. It's not a very big building. But like, you know, your, your point's like taken. Said, I mean, if we knew we there was money on the table, we would have built better quality. And absolutely. I think we, we I think we sacrificed well, some quality because yes. of well, we the had, program I mean, the, size. This building will suffice for seniors well, for the immediate future, but. You know, 50 years from now, we're going to be shaking our heads saying, why? But, Dan, we, we had all those in there. And they kept saying, well, move this, now redo this, now do yeah. this, make the building smaller. Yeah. Just by yeah. force and delays, Yeah. I mean, we're playing on worst-case scenario. Now, like, uh, you know, Myron Chudzik said, he was on the fire. He goes, I don't think you're going to see this with the fire building. Now it's the middle of summer. These guys have committed to work. Yeah, yeah. He goes, you're not going to see the the active bidding like you are he goes you're going to be up in the normal range probably for what and how soon Could is be. that remodel? fire state well they've kind of pushed it off but the fire station i think is going to be towards the end of july before now. they put it out the bit yeah and what about the library uh, right now we just got a rough estimate back last week we're going to meet in uh, you know, two weeks um for an update but uh Right now we're running by 400,000 higher than estimated, but we also are dealing with a new estimator. Um, but to go out to bid is... Well, well we're, we're still trying to, to, get to, to get it down to be ready, but I think they're saying it was going to be another month before it would be ready to go out to bid, so we're hoping it'll be probably May before that happens, so we're looking at maybe a June start, so, yeah, which means well. June to tear down. Yeah. There was Why they're not going to... Well, they're going to do it all as... Oh, that's right. That's all part of... Okay. Instead of so they're not even going to be abating until 
that's done then, correct? Has yes, right. um, anybody brought up about Saban salvaging the bricks, some of the bricks? Yeah, well, okay. I just want to make sure. I think Alan least, brought well, that. That was, I went to the March 10th to where they had the open the, house, the building presentation, yeah. and they talked about salvaging about 200 bricks, and they're going to sell those. So. Has uh, Alan got any feedback from Mass Historic about the documentation that was completed? So. Okay. I nothing I negative. Okay. Good. If he did, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, only that they could probably s stop us in our tracks if they said they want a full photo documentation, historic, you know, documentation of that of that building. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. But well, Linda Hannah was taking a whole bunch of pictures on her own, so there's a whole bunch of yeah. Right and there. Alan is taking <laughs> pictures. I know that. Uh, Mass Historic's requirements yeah. for photo documentation are actually like. Full frame digital, black and white, certain size, all kinds of stuff like that. that so I, don't know. I mean, they, you know, the, if the presumption is they're not going to ask for the next level of documentation, right. but if they did, we'd have to hire a preservationist to do drawings, mm -hmm. photographs, scale everything, mm -hmm. you know, all that. Hopefully, that won't happen. But well, that'll make Mike happy. He wants to do some training in that building after they get the uh, stuff out mm -hmm. of there. Yeah. No. Yeah, I know. Isn't there uh, lead and asbestos in there? Is that really where you want to? He won't burn it. He's not going to burn it. They just to smoke it. Okay. They fog yeah, it. Yeah, you can't burn any buildings yeah, anymore. Yeah. Okay, good. They just smoke them. I told him I could make real smoke if he wanted, but. <laughs> okay, Russell School. This is fun. Uh, no, it's not. So we got library. Anything else on library? Well, that's no. it. Just trying to get our uh, estimates down a little bit. Have some more about uh, value engineering being done for the next meeting, and um, see what we can cut or adjust. And, and but the uh, the OPM did say that, or actually the architect uh, said that they are doing it. Have a new estimator that they were working with, and he's mo mostly used to working in Eastern Mass, so it may vary a little bit in terms of the cost. Yeah. And that kind of thing. So we're hopeful that. You know who it is. I don't know. No. Yeah. But apparently there's a shortage of estimators right now hmm. for some reason. I guess the building, what's going on or whatever. But There's a few good ones that are out there yeah. uh, in Boston area that I know. But, yep. Okay. Um, town Hall. So we got some renovations planned. Uh, most of them are done. Most of them are done. done. Yeah. They're by furniture and all that. By is Friday. Well, furniture is not... The new furniture is not under our purview. Yeah. So, you tell them who's moved. We've got Park and Rec is now in the building. Good. Board of Health has moved downstairs. Planning board is coming over Wednesday. Um, conservation. Conservation. Some of their stuff in is there. going into Goodwin or no? What? Planning. Rec? Planning. Planning. No. No. All over here. It's we all over it. here. Yep. Oh, it's good. all fitting. That's outstanding. Mm-hmm. And they're very happy with it. And Dan's office got modified. Dan's office is and been modified. Board of Health office is down happy. there. I'll give you a little tour after mm -hmm. if you want. Yeah, you do. need a Good. little tour. Good. Okay, so we're done then. Well, There's as of by Wednesday, we'll be. Yeah. This this building will be set, and then you got okay. the, the big then we start the senior out. center move yeah, over. Everything and went well, and it's not really. We had we did a little bit more than we proposed. And so the, it's going. It's going to cost a little more. It's going to cost a little bit more, but everybody said it was needed. And how about Hadley Media? Into Media the, is going up. The wiring started today to get the uh, wiring run up through the building, the fiber optic and the stuff. And that's actually, I think, I think what they said is uh, it's going to be going off air tomorrow, for mm -hmm. probably a week. And that's at the library. Or where, where do we where do we land? <laughs> They're upstairs. TV five is upstairs, upstairs. in the library. Okay. Yeah, um, and the yep. it, the re the reason being, I guess, I just saw the last email is um, they have to pull a fiber optic line, and I guess we were under the impression they could pull one in. The one they had to pull there had to come from like down by the high school because I guess you got to tie into a certain spot and then pull it back. And they've run some of it, but they won't let you have one ready to go and still have the other one. You have to. Cut one, hook the other one up, and then go. So okay. it's a, I guess, like it's a charter fiber optic thing. So there's no way around it. The electrical is sufficient over there to. The electrical is getting upgraded. The panel has enough for two, oh. two more. 
20 amp circuits for their for equipment. For the second floor panel. For their second, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for their equipment, and they're in the process of running the stuff up from the basement up there so that once once their stuff is over, they can just tie in and go. So they're upgrading the panel, but the knob and tube is still in the building? They're upgrading the panel that's there that's got wire mold run to it. That's all. The, the Correct. The stuff, the wire mold, the, yeah, the knob and tube that goes up through the stairs and into the attic is not... We're there. not touching any of that. The, 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 the new one, service connections are all legit. Yes. Yeah. Everything's yeah. fine. What they yeah. did was a few years ago, they put they ran a sub panel up there and put some outlets with wire mold along the baseboard wall. So we're just adding so we're to adding a few more in there just for the TV five from that stuff panel. from mm -hmm. that panel. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. And the other ones are not being touched right now. Right. We'll be dealing with that at a later date. Still. And, and that's not on our list for project consultant mm -hmm. either, but. Um, Certainly, that could be a potential. Oh no, we say good one, but residence for them. If the, oh, absolutely, if, if the, right. Especially know, now, the stuff is there and set up. Yeah, you run a fiber optic cable. I mean, it, it, apparently, it's it's easier said than done. But uh, if the town's going to keep that building, um, that's one mm -hmm. low traffic entity that can survive out of there. And it's just about figuring out who else can use yes. other space in there to right. keep the building up and running. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It will be a good spot for them because up there they've got plenty of room, you know, and yeah, they don't need a lot of room anyways. The room they're in is small, but. Okay. Uh, DPW garage and sewer plant, any any discussion on that right now? No, just no, we, we, we'll go for the walk and we can discuss mm -hmm. it again. Yeah. yeah, okay. Public safety building, you mentioned the HVAC, we've got Sally Port, so you're going to get the yeah. quote on the Sally yeah. Port. Yeah, okay. the HVAC and that. Uh, there are another, uh, there are no other items which I believe are relevant per your, <laughs> your agenda here that I believe are relevant. Is there anything else that you all wanted to bring up tonight? Yeah, yeah, okay, so if you can help yeah, me work yeah, with uh, Berkshire and, and, and we'll talk to Larry, Larry. Mm -hmm. we'll go from there. I did meet Good. a fella who sits with Mass Historic, and we were chit-chatting about historic buildings and and uh, uh, <coughs> stuff that um, stuff that comes up, like the, the metal lintels over the windows typically were not a good way to, to go. They would rust out. Right. Blow all they the bricks apart. To do it here. Well, or wood. but the buildings back then that were built with arched windows are of superior construction. Mm. So Russell's cool. You know the lower windows are, you know, and the upper windows are all this just carpentry in between opening. there. Yeah. So it's a huge arch top. Yeah. Um, of superior construction as top of the top notch construction back then, and yep. uh, you're not going to have rusted metal lintels coming apart on you so another reason point. to consider that building you know as being a, a town building for mm -hmm. another hundred years yeah. that's it good no, I, I get it that's it eh? okay, that's okay. It. make a motion motion to, to adjourn Tim make a motion to adjourn I second it there you <coughs> go. all those in favor aye, aye. Opposed? Hearing none, we're adjourned. Thank you.